Okay, so now we're gonna look at scale tone passing notes. And what those are, are the passing notes that we use to connect two chord tones that are a third apart, a diatonic third apart. And the, the passing note we use is from the scale, from the key signature, from the home key. Um, and it's diatonic. So that's why we don't have any chromaticism when we're using these scale tone passing notes. Um, that's the main difference with these things and the fact that it connects the notes at a third apart. So I'm using this example here from my book, um, which is called Rhythm Changes Soloing. And there's a whole series of them for different instruments available in print worldwide from Amazon and other stockists. Um, and this is the chapter where I call, refer to it as joining the dots, where we're connecting chord tones with passing notes and finding ways to embellish and decorate those those chord tones are those arpeggios so here we go we're going to start with this first um, exercise here which is going to be all eighth notes so we're essentially playing arpeggios and then we're connecting the arpeggios with some scale tone passing notes and then what we're going to do is we're going to remove a couple of the notes to create a bit more rhythmic interest to create something that sounds a bit more like a sort of bebop kind of jazz line again these are just exercises um, just in a, you know we're working in a very controlled manner just dealing with one ingredient at a time which is a really good way to learn so here we go I'm going to play with my um, iReal Pro backing tracks here which you can also get if you go to my website here we go okay so check out those scale tones here we go Okay, now let's take out a few notes to create a bit more rhythmic interest. Here we go. Okay, that's scale tone passing notes. All diatonic and everything fitting within the key. Have fun with that. See you in the next one.